Hello everyone, this is Randy here again, another episode of Farming Simulator 15, and we are playing on the Bjorn home map, and we're going to do some more logging this episode, and like I mentioned in the last episode, I bought a little piece of equipment to help us with that, actually it's not really so little, now a couple of you guys guessed it was a K Case IH380, uh, reason being that was actually sitting here at one time, I was testing something with it, that is not actually what I bought though, <coughs> There is another piece of equipment sitting behind me here. So, if we pan around here. Come on now, mouse. There we go. That's right, we got ourselves a John Deere 7280R. This was uh, released uh, a couple days ago, a week ago. Yeah, actually a week ago. I believe it was. One of the, uh, I'm not going to say the first, but one of the really good looking John Deere's. That has been released recently. So just doing a little testing out there. That's why the uh, Case IH was sitting there as well. Uh, don't have that anymore. I got rid of that. I just uh, brought that into was playing around a little something with that. Anyway, so we got a John Deere 7280. Uh, one very important thing to note about this. It does need the drive control mod. And is that tractor slowly sliding down the hill? That tractor is slowly sliding down the hill. Oh boy. Well, it looks good from the outside anyway. So yes, you do need the drive control mod. Very important, otherwise your game will crash without it. Which is kind of annoying. Anyway, we'll fire that up. Parking brake. See if I remember how to use all this uh, drive control stuff. go and we probably won't play with this right at the moment we're gonna go load some logs first I figured and then we'll uh, see what's about chipping some stuff uh, tractor does have IC and I believe that is the control key yes right control IC so we can lower the steering wheel got the lights Oh, let's see what's here. I believe that was lower, activate lower back. Actually, I guess I can't, uh, oh, there's some IC out here too. Interesting. Open rear lift up down. Okay, that's probably got something to do with a three point if I had to guess. Got the green star. Wait, toggle PTO. That's a nice button there. If you're running like a front and rear mower, you can turn them both on at once with that. That's pretty cool. Toggle beacons. I believe the window's open. Yes, there's the window one. Not sure if this door opens. I haven't seen one on it unless it's something up here. Yeah, I don't think that door opens, at least on that side anyway. Uh, this one does. Fold up the passenger seat. It just says open. <laughs> I think the passenger seat's already open. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I think that's about it. Yeah, so we'll actually shut that off a minute. We'll be uh, playing with that in a minute here. We're going to finish loading up this trailer here. And like I mentioned last episode, I thought I had most of this wood. I mean, obviously we're getting pretty close to wrapping up here. Pretty much just this stand of trees left here. And maybe, well, yeah, I think we actually got them all cleaned up. There's one or two here yet. Or three. Yeah, it looks like three here yet. Just going for the fir trees. Uh, this is actually the world border right here once you get to these trees. So, not going any farther than that. But yeah, there's actually, oh, you can see it from here. There's another pile of logs down at the bottom of the, the hill there. Doesn't really look like a hill from here, but once you get over there, it's actually a big old hill there. Thought I had all the logs picked up, but just these here, it's like, oh, wait a minute. I looked over there. Oh, crap. But I think we might actually chop those up. I'm going to see once how it works, but we'll see if we can chop those. And one of the things I wouldn't mind doing, and I obviously haven't done it yet, maybe disable the shuttle control. Not uh, totally sold on that uh, feature of the drive control mod. Let's 
Oh, we're stuck. Uh, that means we're probably going to need four. That should be four-wheel drive. Okay, that'll do it. Yep. Got to remember that now. We got the uh, drive control mod. That means we're going to have four-wheel drive and diff locks again. Come on, there we go. Yeah, like I said, the only thing I'm really disappointed about that tractor is it requires you, I should say forces you to use the drive control mod. Nothing particularly wrong with that, except for the fact if you don't have it, the game crashes. I don't like that, uh, that bit, so... Yeah, it's very important if you get that tractor, make sure you have the drive control mod. Uh, that does concern me slightly. Am I going to be able to disable the uh, shuttle control without uh, any issues or not? I'm not sure. Nope. It's going that way. Get used to having the shuttle control here again. Uh, shuttle control, for those who maybe don't realize what I'm talking about there, that is the uh, back and forth of the vehicle. So every time I want to switch between forward and backwards, I gotta push the uh, space bar, and then that switches it from reverse to forwards. So that is the uh, shuttle control there. And I've got something great on my mouse pad again. Really annoying. I'm not sure what that is, but it keeps popping up every now and then. It starts grating and grinding on the mouse pad. Which uh, really annoys me because I got some really nasty scratches in my mouse pad now. And I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, shuttle control. That's right. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Oh well. Uh oh. Uh, if we do uh, five, maybe. No, nope, not go. Oh, maybe, maybe. We'll do a shift six then. That should lock all the differentials. There we go. Yeah, the one problem with drive control there, it obviously is the same key as auto tractor. That's the problem. You start getting into all these uh, mods here. They all start using some of the same keys. It's uh, kind of annoying. It is uh, shift 4, 5, and 6, by the way, for the various uh, drive controls. Four-wheel drive and diff locks and all that good stuff. Oh, come on. to get out of here, hopefully. Now, obviously, I got some of those small pieces laying around there. was planning on chopping them up, but I'm not entirely sure it's worth chopping them up. I did chop up a couple of them, and I've got uh, whatever's in the trailer there. Basically, diddly squat. So... It's like it chops up a little bit of the end piece and then it just uh, destroys the rest of it, so it doesn't seem like chopping those end pieces is hardly worth it. Okay, we'll probably load up a couple more pieces here. 
and then we'll uh, work on doing some chopping. Like I said, I think we'll probably look at doing that pile. It's over on the other side here. Let's see, can I get both of those? Well, I think I can. Maybe. Maybe. Probably should have chopped some of these other trees down as well. It made it a little bit easier than trying to work my way around all these trees here. Okay, there we go. I was a little worried that one might fall out there for a minute. Now, can we get the other two that's sitting here together? I think we can. Excellent. Oh, we're not going to be able to make the hill. Probably could there if I put it in uh, diff locks, but uh, probably still would have gotten in the way of the tree there. So It's pretty cool, The at least I think it is anyway, with the uh, drive control mod and the diff locks and stuff. Definitely increases the realism a little bit. I'm not sure about the front diff locks. I've actually never really seen that feature before. I'm not saying it don't exist, but uh, at least on the smaller tractors that I've seen anyway. Don't have too much experience with the larger tractors. Yeah, I know most uh, smaller tractors all have rear diff locks. And basically all a diff lock is, for those who don't know what a diff lock is, uh, the rear tires have a differential, so what allows the tires to uh, basically spin independent of each other so you can have one tire spinning and the other tire will just sit there. Not good if you're stuck because then you got one tire spinning and the other tire isn't doing anything. But what you can do, you lock your differentials together. Oh, wrong way. And that allow you to spin both tires so they can't spin independently of each other. Good if you're in a uh, sticky situation. Oh boy, how many logs did I get here? Only two yet. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think this will probably be about it for this trailer, I think. Yes, I was able to uh, successfully chop up some logs off screen there. Took you know, a little bit of practice with a crane and stuff. But once I got the hang of it, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> like I said, the only disappointing part, I was basically getting at nothing for my uh, chopping efforts. Ooh, I think that one's going to fall off. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Yes, I don't really like the looks of that. Let's take this to the lumber mill and see once uh, we can even make it there. I'll start the truck first, I guess, would help. Parking brake off. Uh, parking brake is control. 
space, by the way. Unless, of course, you change the key bindings, which I believe you can do. Yeah, it's uh, spinning the tires here. Okay, we got four-wheel drive. Uh, we, since we have four-wheel drive, um, I'm kind of curious about the four-wheel drive on this. Just wonder if it locks the rear tires together. That's probably what it does. Ooh, that's still not enough, though. One well, of the differentials locked to help. And yeah, in a truck like this, I'm not exactly sure what it would be locking on the differentials. Probably a rear one. Like I said, I'm not sure about the four-wheel drive on this, though. They do have trucks that do have four-wheel drive, and I'm not sure if this truck would have that or not. Okay, we'll shut that, uh, shut that off. Yeah, clear roads, you never want to run with your differentials on. It'll, uh... Wreck your differentials and probably your tires as well. Very hard on it. Trying to take it a little bit slow here so I don't lose that uh, one log there. Okay, let's back this into the pond. Yeah, this is kind of the one area where I don't really care for the shuttle control mod, or control bit of the uh, drive control mod. And what we're going to do, we're going to turn the diff locks on here, because we're going to need some help getting out, I'm quite sure. When you're kind of quickly switching between forward and reverse, trying to make, you know, some fine controls. And I cannot move my mouse because the uh, auto tractor is open there. Anyway, 350000 I forgot to look where we started at, so we got some money from that. That's all I know. Okay, we'll drive this back to the logging area then, and we will uh, start chopping some wood. Got a couple small pieces there. We'll chop those first and see how much time we have. We'll go to the uh, bigger pieces, and hopefully we'll get some more wood chips out of those. Like I said, I was not getting basically anything out of those small pieces I was doing there. Someone left a piece of wood in the road there. I wonder who could have done that. Probably some inconsiderate logging person. some diff locks again. Okay, we're going to need something more than diff locks. Uh, what are we stuck on? Yeah, what are we stuck on? Uh, nothing under there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're stuck on there. That was kind of weird. Anyway, we'll park that there. Shut all that off. Close that and shut the engine off. Got to remember to make sure I do that from now on. I'm so used to, you know, just getting out of the vehicle and it shuts off for me. Okay, let's get this bad boy fired up.
Okay, I think we're good. I don't think we need to go anywhere. Let's put the pipe out, turn it on. And yeah, when I was testing, I was having some uh, horsepower issues with this uh, thing. So that's what I was uh, at the Case IH for. So yes, indeed, you guys did see a Case IH 380 here. Oh, I thought I had this tractor lined up nice and straight. Did I not? Interesting. Anyway, let's uh, switch to, I think that's the, yeah, I want the brain camera, probably. Ah, there we go. Oh, yes, yeah, so, uh, put that on that. So that doesn't interfere with us. Oh, this train's like really uh, weird here today. And actually I found sticking the big end in works the best. Now either I'm losing my wood chips or I got basically nothing out of that. Actually, do I, if I switch? And no, it still shows uh, 956 in the back trailer there, so I basically got nothing out of that. The only thing, uh, possibly maybe it doesn't like being connected like that. I guess I could disconnect it. I mean, it seems to be working, though. It's pointing at it, so... Um, I think I can reach anything else here. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, move over to... Let's shut it off then. And I want to go forward. And we're going to get stuck. What four wheel drive? Diff lock. <laughs> Another diff lock. And we still go nowhere. This auto tractor opening up thing is kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I know why. Never mind. Oh, uh, what, what is that? X. Yes, yeah, so that'd help. Much, much better. <laughs> well, this tractor has some get up and go to it. Yeehaw. Yes, as you can probably see, I got that uh, piece of wood in there with no problem, basically. The only thing is, I just didn't uh, get nothing out of it, really. But you know what? I think if I come around the other way, that might be easier. Let's uh, turn around here. Come on, you going to make it up the hill? Maybe. Oh, what did we get for comments on the last episode? Come on, make it up the hill. Uh, Spotter Sky was saying, I put up a little uh, short clip here. He was commenting on that. Oh, now you're not going to have the horsepower now. They put it in four wheel drive. Okay. I forget what horsepower this tractor was again, but it actually is a little light on the horsepower. Oh, man. A little light on the horsepower for this thing, actually. But it should be able to pull it with no problem. And by the way, this is a lot hillier than what you guys probably think it is here, too, when you actually consider real-life hilliness. Anyway, Spotter Sky was saying someone likes to go for a walk with the dogs. Others who do not have dogs walk their trees. LOL. 
So yeah, as for you guys didn't see that, I put a little uh, video of me hauling a tree to the cell point in Westbridge Hills on the multiplayer video. Uh, yes, logging is just uh, atrocious on uh, multiplayer, so... Probably won't see anything of me doing that. Like I say, it's really bad. I did, uh, I actually did record the uh, bit of me trying to uh, cut the tree up. But I ended up not uploading it because it just did not turn out. It, uh, yeah, it was bad. Put it that way. So yeah, the only bit I uploaded was the bit of me hauling it uh, from where we cut it down to the cell point. Okay, and I prefer the camera on the crane. We're we'll turn it on. Now we got 956 in there. Let's see if we get something from this. If we don't, then... Yeah, that thing is clearly aimed at it, so we should be good there, I think. There we go. Oh, come on. Suck it in. Okay, what's your problem here? Apparently it doesn't want to suck that in, but we definitely got some uh, wood chips from that, though. That was definitely working much better. I think it was just uh, a very small amount of wood that was on those limb pieces. Like I say, hardly worth chopping up. Okay, let me get a different camera here so I can see what's going on. Interesting. Doesn't seem to want to take that log. Wow, I was doing pretty good there. Uh, let's try another one here, sure. I don't know if we'll chop all of these like this or not. Oh, I don't want that one, I want just that one. I think what's happened here is it's got a ghost piece on the end. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. I didn't know we were playing uh, possum here. Let's see what's here. Is that trailer actually still connected back there yet? I think it actually is. Okay, let's see if we can pull and straighten this out. Well, now that we uh, twisted our trailer hitch beyond uh, repair. Yeah, that apparently is an issue with this thing now. It'll do that. Um, I've seen this posted on the forums. Probably the fact that I had that other log in there probably didn't like. But yes, yeah, so it'll uh, turn... Uh, possum like that, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Curtis was saying on my little short clip there, wish he hadn't ended the video so, so soon. He wanted to uh, see how much money I made off of that. Uh, yeah, diddly squat. Um, I did one before I recorded that video. I sold the whole tree like that. 100 bucks, not even, I don't think. So yeah, we got 100 bucks for the whole... Of course, that was de not delimbed or defoliated or nothing. Uh, 
And then that second tree I sold, I did, uh, whoops. Oh man, we just broke the glass on our new tractor. That a little higher. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with this crane, but it's like really shaky. Oh, there we go, now it's smooth. I like, it's like the crane gets really shaky at certain spots. I don't know why, but... Can I release that? No, I can't. Pick this up in the middle a little bit more so it's balanced. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not good. Let's not be t doing that again. Actually, it might just be the bigger log here, too. Maybe it don't like... Whoa. Okay, we're going to do that again, huh? Okay, we write ourselves back up, and... At... Probably an important thing to note, too. These logs were cut before the patch. Like I say, I forgot completely about them. There are five meter length logs. I wonder if that has anything to do with it, too. They're older logs that aren't uh, fresh cut, I guess you could say. But you know what? I think we're going to want to spin that around, I think. Anyway, we did get quite a few wood chips out of that, though. Okay, I really need to switch back to the crane view because I cannot work from that view hardly. I know some people really like that view. The one I was just in kind of gives the overview there. Centers the camera on the uh, wood chipper, but I, yeah, I cannot work from that view. Hey, there we go, the entire log. Hey, look at that. That's pretty good for a change, I think. I'll uh, take that. Now, whatever happened to that one piece we had? Did that go flying somewhere? Oh, I bet you that's it laying right there, maybe. I'm talking about that one piece we started to chop up, and then it kind of got stuck on there and wouldn't go any farther. And like I was saying, too, I think that's probably like a ghost log that was stuck on there on the end, so it wasn't detecting it. I just bunging the whole business up if I had to guess. And we are kind of far away from the pile now. Oh, that's a long one. This must be a newer one here, I think. I did think I did throw one or two trees of uh, fresh cut stuff in here, so... are some longer pieces in here. This must be one of them. This should be interesting. Can I let you go like that? And I was hoping it would do, and it's kind of sort of sliding backwards. Yep, and grab it there before it slides too far. I want to grab it a little bit farther to the end. It's still going to balance that way. Okay. Most annoying log physics there. Uh, someone can explain that to me. Your conveyor belt is going in towards it, and your piece of wood is going out. Um, how does that work? Okay, there we go. Now oh, it's finally sort of like I want. Yeah, I'm just not getting this log picked up. I want it to grab it close to the end there. Oh, 
Now it's going to pull in. How nice. Grab it down there a little more. Slide her out. Kind of a little finicky, that's for sure. Oop, that was the trailer. Yeah, that trailer's kind of in the way there. That'd be nice if I can move that. Can I let it go there? Oh, I can let it go. It's going to go in. Okay. 7,600. That's not too bad. That is, what, 36%. Okay, folks, I think we better uh, call it an episode there. Actually, uh, just check here, I think. Oh, uh, one more comment here before we quit. Uh, my multiplayer series from last episode. Uh, Shadows HD says, yay, first episode I'm in. So, yes, uh, apparently I was playing with him. Don't recognize your YouTube name versus your in-game name then, I guess. But, uh, yes. We'll call it an episode here, folks. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.